It's National Agriculture Week, and who better to talk to than a central Nebraska farmer who's also head of the State Department of Agriculture. Here's more. Well, some of us celebrate Ag Week every week in Nebraska, uh, but this is a great time to get the governor involved, go to a number of towns and cities across Nebraska, and underscore the tie that our Nebraska economy has to agriculture. But as agriculture goes, so goes Main Street. In 2008, when the nation had an economic downturn, Nebraska was in great shape because agriculture was in great shape. In fact, no other state weathered that economic downturn better than Nebraska except North Dakota who is developing their oil industry. Now when the rest of the nation is going fairly strong, the economy in the rest of the nation is fairly strong, in Nebraska our economy is suffering some stress. We have to cut the budget even because revenues are down. And that's because agriculture is suffering greatly. Prices are half or less of what they were uh, a few years ago. And so uh, that definitely underscores the fact that how agriculture goes, so goes the Nebraska economy. We've got uh, a, a number of livestock friendly counties. We've got the livestock uh, matrix tool, Hendricks Genetics in Grand Island. We've got the Costco. We're, we're seeing a lot of livestock development and livestock more than about anything is great rural economic development. One of the governor's big initiatives is to grow Nebraska. As far as the opportunities to grow Nebraska in our rural areas outside of Lincoln and Omaha, agriculture really is our number one opportunity. And if we're going to utilize the resources we have, which include corn and soybeans, livestock is a great alternative for us to be able to utilize those crops that we grow into creating jobs in growing livestock and processing those livestock to be able to uh, use them as not only a market for our domestic customers, but also market them to the world. Uh, adding a hog barn or a poultry barn allows you to bring another generation back. With, with the corn prices right now, that's tough. But if you can add livestock to an operation, that maybe makes it feasible to bring that next generation, which we love to see. And if we try to expand a row crop operation, expand acres, that means somebody else's farm is getting smaller. But if we expand our farm by adding livestock, by building a hog finishing barn or a poultry barn or uh, expanding a, into a cattle feeding operation, we can do that on the same acreage and create more economic activity in our community and be able to employ maybe a son or a daughter or even more people in the same community. There's not a lot of states that can compare to us, whether it's corn, cattle, great northern beans, popcorn, you name it, and a lot of major categories, and we can be pretty proud of that. Well, this week as we celebrate Ag Week, we're pointing out that we're the fourth largest ag economy in the nation. We lead the nation in the production of a number of crops and livestock categories, and we're the number five exporting state in the nation as well. So Nebraska agriculture is a, a big deal. We'll have more from the governor later on taxes. Up next, a look at the worsening drought conditions.